As a business owner, you should automate as much as possible. It's the most effective way to improve your communication, improve your results, and best of all, it's going to be the most affordable way to make your business grow because trying to do everything manually will cost you a whole lot of money. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate your communication through Brevo. So right now, I do recommend that you check them out. They do have a free plan. So get started right now. Let me go ahead and get started here. So this is Brevo and you can automate several processes right here, especially when it comes to communication and doing it is super easy. So let's let me go ahead and jump into my Brevo dashboard and I'm going to show you how easy this is. Now, Brevo is a communication mastermind with emails, SMS, WhatsApp, uh, taking care of your leads and a whole lot more. But in this case, let's go ahead and jump into automation. So there's a specific tab here that's for automations. So let's go ahead and jump into this section and let's go ahead and create a brand new automation. Now, first off, you'll be greeted with a few templates that you can get started with or you can get started from scratch. Now, this is just like the icing on the cake of what things that you can do here on Brevo. So this is like just something really basic, but you can do really complex automations with Brevo. So this is just like the most popular ones. But if you need to, for example, improve engagement, go ahead and select it. If you need to improve traffic, go ahead and select this. But let's go ahead and use most popular one. In this case, let me go ahead and show you a really basic one to get you the idea of how easy this is to automate. So let's go ahead and use the anniversary date. What do you want to do with this? Well, when the anniversary date comes, we want to do something with it. We want to make a promotion. We want to make someone feel really good that we're really thinking about them without even making a promotion. But this is going to be automated. You can feel a client really loved when you remember them and you don't try to sell them something. So let's go ahead and test this out. So first off, this is the automation builder here. So in this case, the first thing we need to set up is the trigger. This is the first thing that needs to happen in order for the automation to begin. So in this case, I'm going to select the first step and we're going to be asked for the date attribute. So it needs to do this to understand when the birthday is or the anniversary of their sign up or the first purchase, etc. So let's go ahead and select the date attribute and I'm going to select it right here. If you don't have this attribute in your contact list, you can go ahead and add it. Okay, so don't worry about this and then require it. Ask for it in the form or wherever you're going to get those details from. The next thing we need to set up is when should contacts enter? So when is this going to be triggered on the same date? So that means that when the anniversary hits, they're going to be contacted. But I would highly recommend that you do this a few days before. If it's just like a thank you and we, will, and we are grateful for your business, etc. I would do it on the same day. But if you are going to do this as a sales pitch for something that's going to come, like I'm going to give you a coupon for your anniversary. Well, maybe before the date attribute occurs. So maybe a few days before the actual anniversary, we are already nurturing this. Okay, so we're going to do this three days before the actual anniversary. So we're going to let them know that their anniversary is coming and they're going to be greeted with a coupon code, right? Just an example. Next, the contact. So what is going to be the filter here? And I'm just going to select my contact list here. So let's go ahead and do this one. And I'm going to select it here. Let's go ahead and add the filter. We're good to go. And then the contact entry time. So in this case, it's going to be triggered at 1245 PM. So we're good to go. Let's hit next. And we are done with that step. Now the second step is going to be sending out that email. So let's go ahead and set up this email, right? So in this case, I am going to leave the email alone, but we can go ahead and edit the email, obviously at make it really nice at our coupon code and make it look really fantastic, right? The next option here is going to be what event data to display. In this case, we're not going to display any data inside of there. So we're going to keep it. The email doesn't have variables, right? Then the subject, happy birthday, then the option here. And to, we can add more variables here like the name. So let's go ahead and remove this. We're going to add the contract attributes and we're going to add their first name. So happy birthday and their first name. We're going to keep it simple, but you can add more variables and emojis to this. Some preview text, you can add that here. The email that is going to be sent from the sender name. And then we can add additional settings here by going into editing settings. So uh, the email send time, we can set up an email send time for this. So like a time frame. So let's just say that you don't want to send this out at midnight. You want to send this out maybe in working hours or maybe really early in the morning. You can set up the, e the, the time here. Okay. Send email copy. We don't want to do that. Sending in tracking. So we want to fine tune our email. We can go ahead and set this up and subscription. We're going to keep it simple without those options. Let's go ahead and confirm. And we have our 
first step here now we can go ahead and enable this and this is going to be triggered right away remember three days before the actual anniversary it's going to send out this emo now it doesn't stop here you can make this automation more powerful in this case i am going to jump out of here i'm not going to save this because we are uh, just testing this right let's go ahead and do another automation here we're going to start from scratch because i want to show you the capabilities of the automations that you can build here on brevo so here we go first off we got our triggers remember this is the first thing that needs to happen in order to trigger automations so there's several available options to start the trigger so you can do for example contact added to list so that means that by some automation they have out there they filled out a form they made a purchase they bought something on your website then something happens and they get added to the list well that can be the starting point you can also do contact remove from list so if they remove from list that kicks off the um, automation here contact matches a custom filter so that means that if a filter is triggered that will kick it off contact is in a segment that will trigger it off the anniversary which you saw already the contact added manually so if i manually go add a contact that is going to trigger the automation and it's going to save me a ton of time maybe like a welcome email a newsletter that you want to send off that could happen uh, with a form a form is submitted the email is open the link clicked an email unsubscribe from an email for conversations sales email open and more options available there for deals task created and the deal is created so if they get into the lead segment of the deals and they are in the prospect section well this could trigger it right uh, for a meeting if a meeting is booked meeting started meeting canceled set that there so if a meeting is canceled let's go ahead and kick off this automation with a brand new link to schedule a new meeting it saves you time uh, a phone a call is finished the website is visited or a custom event several options available to kick off your automation here and then we have the actions so once you kick it off there's several things that we can do in the context we can add a contact to a list so if they fill out a form we can add that contact list to the form list that we've created for example or remove a contact from a list if something happens block contact etc for messaging we can send out an email you can also send out sms send a whatsapp or notify via emails so you don't have to strictly stick to emails you can also send out sms and whatsapp messages with this automation you can call out a webhook in case you want to automate this or make a bridge with another automation a system for deals actions for automation start another automation in case another automation kicked in a redirect context to another step etc then we have rules so there's a time delay rule here's an example if we have a new customer that just purchased something and you want to send up a follow-up email we can add a delay here to say you know what after four days let's go ahead and send them an email to ask them a review about the product they purchased so delay helps out there a conditional split which lets you split this depending on what happens so if they clicked on a link if something else happens then it's going to split and you can continue the automation in that split a percentage split in case you want to do a b testing uh, wait until an event happens so just stick there don't continue the automation but if something happens like they clicked on something then continue so you got all these available options for automating your business so, so definitely get started and i would highly recommend that you automate your business as much as possible either using brevel or whatever else you are going to use but it's crucial for your business to be growing without having to be yourself the one doing things manually so if you want to check out brevel check out the link in the description and that is a wrap